Hello and welcome to the first in the Adobe eSignatures video series and electronic signature overview. I'm Mark Middleton, Adobe Business Development Manager. I hope this short video will spur you on to view the next four in the series, electronic signature options in Adobe Reader and Acrobat, supercharging Acrobat with our newest e-signature option, Adobe Echo Sign, and lastly, a demonstration of the world's number one online signature service, Adobe Echo Sign. Okay, let's get started with the quick agenda. Over the next few minutes, I'll explain what electronic signatures, also known as e-signatures, are, the problem with ink signatures, a definition of electronic signatures, the legality of e-signatures, and of course, what's in it for you. So why should you care about signatures in general, not just electronic signatures? Well, in every transaction, there's a need to provide approval and signify your willingness to complete the deal. These steps need to be taken whether you're trying to figure out who'll do the dishes or if you're signing off on a $20 million deal. Signatures and approvals are the linchpin in your relationship with others. They facilitate, enable, and seal customer interaction. So what's wrong with ink signatures? Why not keep faxing, scanning, and overnighting documents? Well, the problem we face today regarding signatures has little to do with the pen itself. The act of signing takes only a few seconds. However, ink signatures days may be numbered for several reasons. Ink and paper transactions are inefficient and expensive. First, consider the cost of paper and consumables to create the document. Next, take into account the time it takes to deliver documents and the courier costs you'll pay to get them there. And there are significant costs involved in archiving documents at the end of the process. Another major problem with paper-based or wet signatures is that they do not protect document integrity. It's easy to copy someone's signature to another document. And who checks signatures these days? In this example, a fraudulent person copies your signature from the contract where you bought a car, and then they place that signature on a contract where you're buying a new boat. And they could use scissors and glue or Photoshop to copy your signature. And then they fax that uh, contract to the boat dealership. And before you know it, you've just bought yourself a new boat. You're getting billed monthly for a boat you never took possession of. Hey, that's your signature on the boat contract, right? Even worse, what's to prevent somebody from replacing a page or even a word or number from a paper contract, especially if it's faxed or emailed? It's easy to change 1% to 5% or $1,000 to $10,000 or delete a page or maybe slip a new page in. Will anyone notice? And then there's environmental sustainability. Did you know that the average tree yields only 9,000 pages of paper? A standard box of paper contains 5,000 sheets or 10 reams. That means one tree doesn't even yield two boxes of copy paper. Nearly 4 billion trees worldwide are cut down each year for paper, and paper production utilizes a significant amount of energy. So let's take a look at a definition of electronic signature. An electronic signature means an electronic sound, symbol, or process attached to or logically associated with a contract or other record and executed or adopted by a person with the intent to sign the record. The underlying words are the key elements. A signature is attached and associated with a record, like a document. The signature is related to an individual person. And most importantly, that person signifies their intent to sign and agree to the terms of the document. So are electronic signatures legal? Well, yes, for the past 13 years. In the U.S., we have the eSign Act of 2000 that says electronic signatures cannot be denied legal validity solely based on the fact that they're electronic in origin. We also have the Uniform Electronic Transactions Act that says electronic rec records and signatures are as legal as paper and manually signed signatures. The European Union has adopted the European Directive 1999-93-EC in 1999 that establishes a community framework for the use of electronic signatures. And most other countries are modeled on the EU directive. Overall, the world has become an e-signature friendly place. So if you're the only one signing a document, form, or contract, there are a number of e-signature options that are built into Adobe Reader and Acrobat. 
make sure to watch the next two installments of my e-signature video series for the details and a demonstration. If you need other people to sign your documents, contracts, or forms, why should you care about electronic signatures? I mean, what's in it for you? Well, the number one reason, e-signatures can accelerate your signing process, and by that I mean how long it takes to get your fully signed documents back from days and weeks down to hours. And that gives you more time for what really matters. Number two, because with electronic signatures, signers can sign anywhere, anytime, on any device, making them much happier with you. Number three, because when you get your signed documents and forms back faster, it saves your organization money, and that makes you look good. And number four, as I previously mentioned, reducing paper contracts and documents helps achieve paper reduction initiatives, making you and your organization shine. And that concludes a brief overview of electronic signatures. I hope you'll join me for one or both of the next two videos in the series where I demonstrate the various e-signature options in Adobe Reader and Acrobat.